So Zach just kind of tacked everything here, just kind of stitched it. Um, they said to use uh, body filler here, panel bond, but I think I'm actually going to attempt to weld this myself maybe, and then just sand it down. Now over here on this side, I ground it down, his spot welds and it came out smooth, so I don't see any reason why I can't just continue doing that. Um, I'll have to be careful about heat warping the aluminum. Uh, so I might just do little beads all the way around um, until it's all filled up and then grind it all down. It'll be a lot of grinding, but I think in the end it'll come out a lot nicer. Um, I don't have to worry about rust because it's aluminum. So I don't think body filler or anything really have to be too careful. Just I shouldn't have to use any if I can do a good job. So we'll see. So this is a long process, especially for me, because if I try to lay one bead down this whole thing, I will inevitably burn holes into this thin paneling, which I already did just spot welding it a couple times. I burned a hole here I had to fill back in, and another one down there I had to fill back in. Um, so it is taking a while, especially just because I can only do little sections of beads. But uh, it's starting to get filled in. I don't know if this is the best route. Maybe the best route is just body filler and sanding, uh, some kind of fiberglass filler or something like that. But I'm gonna keep at it for now, and uh, I might actually skip around and jump over to a different portion of this. There's still a lot that has to be done. I still have to wire up my power inverter, um, wire up two uh, 12 volt outlets, one for in here in the cab and one in the trunk. Um, I need to mess around with the fuse box a little bit. I need to build a floor in there. And of course I need to get this door on. And I think that's the biggest challenge is getting this door on um, and figuring out how to continue these uh, one by is going up and what angle and what kind of weird compound cut I'm gonna have to do up there. But uh, at least I have my helper. Cassius, Cassius, say hi to YouTube. He just wants to go for a road trip. I gotta hurry up and finish this thing for his sake. What's this, Cassius? So this is a neat thing. This is uh, made by Jackery, and it's licensed by Honda. And they're really hard to find because they only made them for a short period of time. But what I did just now off camera, because I don't like to bore you guys with wiring, is I installed these two 12 volt outlets here. Uh, these run off the battery in the trailer and eventually the trailer will be getting its battery charged from the alternator in the main tow car. And when I'm in the tent, if I want a fan, if it's too hot or if I want an electric blanket because it's too cold, I can run it off of my power inverter in this thing and I can leave the car running to charge the battery here. Uh, if I don't want to do that, I have an automatic cutoff, which is right here. And that right here is a smart battery isolator. So if this starts drawing too much current, it checks from the main battery. It's always testing the main battery. And if the main battery falls below, I think it's 13.9 volts or 13.2 volts or something like that, it cuts off and starts drawing from this battery so that I don't wake up with a dead car battery that I can't start. Now, if I don't want to do either of those things, and I don't want to draw and drain this, this trailer battery, and I don't want to drain the car battery, what I can do is I have this Honda Jackery thing, which is pretty awesome. And it, I think it's 300 watts or something like that. Uh, but it's pretty awesome, and it has USBs and uh, 110 there. I believe it's pure sine wave, but I'm not positive about that. Uh, it has 12 volts as well. But I will be able to charge this in the trunk via these 12 volt outlets now, along with something else. And uh, I'm thinking I might, I might actually make like Velcro fabric dividers in here, uh, just to kind of make everything bespoke and custom, so everything has a place in here. I could have, you know, tools over here, camping stuff, whatever. So that's what's going on. I'm going to put one more of these in the cab, just because 
I have another set of them, so why not? But came out pretty nice. I'm happy with it. And everything's moving along slower than I wanted, but it is moving along. So a little bit of progress. All right, I'm getting sick of this hinge. I keep uh, walking into it. So I'm going to do a prim preliminary cut uh, right now where I just cut it a little bit to get out of the way. I'm not going to go all the way yet because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. All right, so I'm getting ready to do some preliminary cuts on the door. Um, these are not gonna be final cuts by any means. I'm just kind of shortening up to try to test fit it, and then I'll be doing more precise, cut, more, more precise cuts after that. So that took a really long time uh, with that little cutoff wheel from Harbor Freight and ended up burning it out. Um, now it spins until it hits metal and then it just stops spinning. It just uh, barfed out a bunch of grease all over the place and it took forever. So that thing's brand new. Um, I bought it maybe a month or two ago and it already crapped out on me so I had to finish it with the jigsaw. Okay, the door is mounted to the hinge and uh, rough cuts have been made. We test fitted some weather stripping. Eddie, you wanna open it? Sweet, and it works. So it does bend a little bit when you open it. So maybe it will need a little bit of structure. Yeah, but once it's all, you know, structured up or cut right. Yeah. Um, it's not gonna be as wobbly. I'm hoping I don't need to put a skeleton in it. I mean, I'm cutting out more for a window and uh, some other stuff, so it is gonna become more flimsy. Oh, but a bead rolling. Bead rolling will make it strong. Yeah, plus the, the hydraulic, you know, if you uh, yeah, yeah. that'll, both sides that'll hold it up Yeah, nice. absolutely. So I gotta get rams and bead rolling, and a window, and maybe some laser cutting stuff if I could think of a good design.
All right, so weather stripping's on. Still gotta figure out how to do a seal up here. Um, I have some nice finishing bolts for up here, Allen key ones, they're in that bag. Just gotta drill these holes a little bigger and put them on. But uh, I think that's it for today. I may put these lights on and go through inspection tomorrow um, because I think it's ready and it should pass. Uh, not sure. So, and maybe I'll record that process. Maybe I'll record them failing me. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below and stay tuned for more videos coming shortly. I try to release one every week. Thanks.